Greetings. This video is coming to you in two parts. Part one, announcements. Part two, questions and answers. First, let's get the announcements out of the way, which is kind of all about money. <clears throat> we want to say thank you to everyone who watches the channel, but especially to all of you who support the channel through Patreon. It is very kind of you to do so. You are helping to make the channel better and more sophisticated with each episode. It literally would not be possible to, for example, break down the rise of toxic fandom, or to do a mini-doc that treats Klingon history like real history, or to compare Star Trek and epic poetry together to see where the similarities are. We couldn't do this without your participation and support. So, thank you. However, we've reached a bit of a bottleneck in terms of growing the channel. We are in need of a second video editor. Up till now, with one or two exceptions, video editing has been done primarily by Kyle. Um, that's me. In hiring a second editor, we can increase output by, like, a lot. Maybe even double. We very much want to do this because we'd like for Trexpertise to not only become a repository for interesting essays covering a variety of topics related to science fiction, but also we'd especially like to increase our output to at least two video essays a month, if not more, a target we've been aiming at for a while now. There are so many topics to cover, both in regards to the great big Star Trek multiverse and all the new changes happening there, but also in regards to other topics like religiosity in Dune, how Star Wars continues the form of the chivalric romances, how fracking awesome Battlestar Galactica is, and the hidden genius of films like the recent Advantageous or Annihilation. We'd like for all of this to come out sooner as opposed to later. And we bet you would too. So, we'd like to announce a fundraising goal, our first ever, in order to add a second video editor to the team and increase output on the channel. We would need to hit a target of $1,100 a month through Patreon. Really, for you, yes you, it comes down to just $1 to $2 a month. That's not a whole lot. Maybe less than the price of one cup of coffee per month, if you think about it. So, if Trexpertise is something you enjoy, something that makes you think or exposes you to new ideas, something you want to see more of in the world, then consider supporting the channel. Buy us the equivalent of a cup of coffee every month, and we'll turn that virtual coffee into video essays that talk about Star Trek and science fiction. Help us reach this goal of growing the team, and let's create even more, even better Trexpertise. Our second announcement is an exciting one for us. We are putting together a short film. I bet you didn't know we did stuff like that outside of the channel, did you? Our short film, I See the Stars, is basically complete. We've shot 90% of the film. We are about to begin a crowdfunding campaign in order to raise funds for post-production efforts. The film is about how a difference of belief, something we all think about in the abstract, can become a full-blown open wound with hurt feelings and everything upon the passing of a loved one. The film stars Tobias Elmore, Robert Hill, and Dorothy Weems, and has some great performances. You know what? Science doesn't take meaning. It gives it. Science is us dealing with the world on its own terms. I find that a whole lot more comforting than some pie-in-the-sky nonsense that doesn't have anything to do with the measurable world. The meaning of life is to fear God and to keep his commandments. Okay, well, there's no logical response to that, so... Well, maybe it's time that you admit that you're wrong. I See the Stars is about having a conversation about death and belief before it is too late. We just wanted to put this on your radar because we may be talking about it soon and we'd like very much to show you the finished product and get some feedback. If you'd like to know more, then ping us in the subspace below. We'd love to discuss it. Okay, that's enough announcements. Let's get to some of your questions. What do the words in Chinese, is it Chinese, at the end of your videos mean? The ending phrase at the end of the videos now are Japanese, and I think it means consider the distant future. I think. You had somebody say it for you, didn't you tell them what to say? And then... Yeah, I did. But how do I know? I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> What's your favorite episode from each Star Trek show? Voyager's Threshold. Don't at me. 
It's like asking to choose my favorite cat. What software do you use for editing your video and audio material? Pass. This is a question for Kyle. Uh, we use uh, the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Suite. Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, After Effects, stuff like that. I use Microsoft Word. Uh, why is Q so afraid of Guinan? My first guess would be her hat. Have you seen every Star Trek episode? Yeah. Kirk or Picard? You know, that's a really tough quite No, it isn't. It's Picard. What do the most popular Trek episodes have in common at their cores? A really good writer who knows what the hell they're doing. <laughs> I'm going to flip that question on his head. How about, okay. um, what do all the worst Star Trek episodes have in common at their core? Uh, salamanders? Hello, Trek expertise. I'd like to ask, when do you plan on bringing Alien Plausibility Review back? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's coming. You like jazz? Yeah. It's cool. How do you choose a topic to feature in the video? If it's something we're interested in talking about at home between each other, then usually that's the testing ground for developing the idea itself. Uh, when we hit on a topic uh, that makes one of us go, hmm, I'd really like to know more about that, um, one of us will choose whether to play with it, whether to try to develop it, whether to research it. If the conversation doesn't continue past a couple of days, then it's probably not gonna make it as a topic. And so uh, we test them out with each other first and then develop the ones that are the best. Katie's a writer, I have an anthropology bent. Usually there's a kind of space in between in the Venn diagram that kind of makes this channel work. Do you think Star Trek Discovery should have a LARPing episode? Should Star Trek Discovery have a LARPing episode? Isn't that what acting is? Uh, do you like Q? And this might be a two-part question. Do you like John Delancey? Q is not the type of entity who needs to be liked. I think he would prefer that I not like him. John Delancey, though, yeah, he's fine. I can't recall off the top of my head if you've done this yet, but a Trexpertise ep about the history of the Borg would be pretty cool, I think. I think we can help you out there. What do you look like? <laughs> would you be interested in discussing and talking about Dune? Ooh, love Dune. Really love Dune. What topic about Dune? The ecological aspects of a planet. The economy of the spice. I would really have to sit down and think about which topic would be the most interesting for Dune. There's a lot to say there. What are some social slash philosophical issues that you hope the new Trek series, Discovery, and the yet unnamed Picard project will explore? Discovery's second season is going to cover some kind of religion versus science topic. That's great. More of that, please. I think a really great uh, morality issue, sociological issue, would be to deal with the adverse effects of tribalism. In society, I think that that's a pretty big thing that's happening everywhere. How many people work on Trexpertise? There's me, Kyle Sullivan. There's me. There's Kyle. There's Katie Boyer, who does uh, a lot of the writing and proofreading and concept testing. There's Jay, wrote an episode. He's doing some editing. Jay Manning has written an episode uh, and we'll be editing an episode. Extra footage is shot by both Steve and Ryan. Ryan Kendall has done some editing, uh, some concept testing, some proof watching, and has shot footage for the channel. Uh, he was responsible for the coffee pot sequence from the Westworld essay. So long, human filth. You have outlived your usefulness. Uh, Steve Ashley's also shot footage for the channel and helped out in various ways. Uh, the title graphics are based on work uh, done by Dan. Dan King uh, did the original title graphics uh, on which the current title graphics are currently based. Am I the only girl? I'm the only girl. I'm the only girl at Trexpertise. And uh, we have three cats on staff. Uh, what do you think of Star Trek Continues? It's fantastic. 
They should do more. For what reason you started the Truck Expertise YouTube channel? The reason I started it, that we started it, um, was because no one was talking about the topics that we wanted someone to talk about. The reason we create anything uh, with moving pictures and sound is because somebody else has failed to do it. I would like to see certain topics discussed. I would like to see certain movies made, certain ideas on screen, and if no one else is going to do them, we're going to have to do them. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Kyle, how did your voice become so smooth? Uh, whiskey? Esri Dax or Jadzia Dax? Jadzia. Esri. Mm, Jadzia. What other sci-fi series do you like outside of Star Trek? It's not science fiction exactly, but the rules are sci-fi. Uh, Mr. Robot is exceptional. How to be more like Picard? I think we're asking, how can we be more like Picard? First, you start with the hair, shave it. Then you get yourself some tea, Earl Grey, hot. Then you have to be very patient. Then you have to be very determined. Then you have to respect people, like all the people. And you need some sexy pajamas. Um, have you tried hating children? What was Antarctica like? Was it lonely? Antarctica was completely, utterly, incredibly, hyperbolically amazing. And no, I wasn't lonely. I was on a ship full of people, about 100 people. And uh, a lot of us are friends now because of the shared experience. So it's still not lonely. Go to Antarctica right now. Go. Go. Riker, to beard or not to beard? That is the question. Uh, let me put it this way. If you see a Riker without a beard, is it really Riker? What is the best sci-fi movie of the past decade? And why is it Blade Runner 2049? I'm going to go with Arrival, though. Do you plan on talking about Star Trek books? There are some limitations to that, though, because uh, we, since this is a video series, we depend on video footage. Uh, we'd have to find a way to make it work with Star Trek books. That being said, if our Patreon ever gets high enough, I know exactly the artist to hire to help do some sketches and stuff like that to talk about Star Trek books. In addition to Star Trek book topics, I really like the DS9 relaunch. It feels like the show never ended, and there's a lot of fun things happening in that part of the Star Trek universe at that time with the books, and uh, there's a lot of good topics there. I I'd love to. It it'd have to be economically appropriate. Is there any other sci-fi series other than Star Trek with a good optimistic view of the future? Oh, yeah, Doctor Who. Of course, that's an optimistic view of the future and the past and like 10 minutes from now and four seconds ago. So it's kind of just, you know, time and relative dimension and spacely optimistic. I would like to know, what are some of the most or least plausible animals in science fiction? Okay, the least plausible animal or creatures in science fiction are the humanoid aliens. Humanoid aliens are unlikely because this is an evolutionary, biological evolutionary pathway doesn't repeat itself, right? You might get a little rhyming sometimes, a la shark fin, dolphin fin, based on the context of a certain environment like water, but it's something like a like an upright primate such as ourselves. That's that's not something that's gonna happen twice. There's too many factors involved. Uh, what are your plans for the future? Will we see another Star Trek video? So, our plans for the channel include uh, continuing to do some of the same sort of big picture kind of social issue uh, episodes um, to look at some uh, histories of different species, perhaps. We definitely want to bring back the alien plausibility reviews. We're definitely going to try to branch out uh, from Star Trek to other science fiction. Um, the tagline that we work with is all things science fiction through the lens of Star Trek. So Star Trek will continue to be a touchstone, but we do want to talk about other series, other um, movies, other 
books maybe even sometimes that are very uh, interesting to us. Um, we're also trying to um, grow the channel by making our episodes more frequent. And uh, to do that, we're going to try to hire a second editor um, to kind of increase the um, speed with which the episodes are produced. Um, to do that, um, we've got to get Kyle out of some of his uh, non trexpertise gigs. So uh, we're hoping um, to increase our Patreon coffers uh, enough to be able to uh, free up Kyle's time and uh, hire someone else to help us out. You know, it took a while for people to really catch what that pig was whistling. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a phrase. It is now. 